as tired as everybody was that was playing and as so many great games. You saw it all, you felt it all, you heard it all. We have a brand new King of Cornhole. Welcome to Taco Tuesday. I'm Finn, Wait. the loudmouth for the ACO. How's that? Uh, how's that bag program where, doing, Frank? Where the hell did Finn go? <laughs> hey, I'm still here. But I can still hear it. You know what? Let's you cheers, baby. All right. There Someday we we'll unbury Finn out of all those bags. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I'm back here. Can you see me? I'm right here. There I am. Anyway, hey, uh, welcome to Taco Tuesday, Whole Heads. We're glad to have you. T A C O. From Talking my, ACO very carefully if you want to behind. do that. And what are all these bags, by the way? Dude, these are all sorts of manufacturers sending stuff in right now. To get those ACO new, stamps? Uh, we'll just leave it right there for you. There you go. How about that? That's a good look. Down a little bit. That's a good look. Turn it down a little bit. Smidge. Good golly. There we go again. Oh, all right. being muffed out by the bags. Really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. We'll leave that alone. Anyway, it is Taco Tuesday, T-A-C-O, talking eight. The fans say the bags look better. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't see the new uh, the new merch if you don't. Uh, if yeah. you, anyway, the bottom line is these are just a small sampling of those who are jumping on this bag program that we talked about last week. If you missed all the details and you want to get involved, last week's taco might be a good place to go back and revisit. We'll talk a little bit about it this week but we want to welcome you to taco tuesday here on 042622 and uh we work our way toward the world's 17 in branson missouri had a great conference uh conference call with them today looking forward to that we ask you as always to share this episode if you would of the taco and you have a chance to win your own taco t-shirt amber thompson of bardstown kentucky did that this past week as did many others uh, and so we appreciate that but feel free to share with groups that play ACO, that play elsewhere, whatever. Just, just give them a heads up that we got this going on on Tuesdays and share the episode with them. There's always a lot of fun. We do our best to, to keep it that way. I just shared it. I'm hoping I can win a T-shirt. Uh, no, I. Uh, in fact, you were the first one to share last <laughs> week's episode, so I immediately blew right by you. So uh, anyway, uh, Clinton's already checking in. Bags, bags, and more good bags. That's exactly right. Hey, Alan, that's not cool, but it's true bags look better anyway <laughs> feel free to fire your comments in as you're watching as well uh, in fact i believe you may actually be invited to comment on something coming up here in just a moment uh if you're if you haven't signed up for it yet make sure you do because every couple of weeks this is going to drop into your email box and it is the brand new edition issue if you will of the uh, taco express it's the family newsletter and uh, this episode or this uh, edition that just went out uh, you can watch ACO Pro Cornhole anywhere. There's a great thing there. The, the digital assets, how they're growing. You can find out about that. The Branson Major on the 27th and 28th. How to watch out on Stadium. The Mesquite Major, which is coming up here very soon. All kinds of good stuff. You want to watch the latest Speaking matches? Speaking of Mesquite, Hubbard I, Hubbard, I owe you a call, man. I know you tried calling me earlier today. Um, I'll be back in touch. That's good. The whole reason we do this is just so he can put his personal messages out <laughs> one-on-one. -on -one. Is there anybody else you'd like to give, hey, leave a message Hubbard, for? Him? Hubbard is our com uh, commissioner out there in the uh, Mountain West, and he's got to run this Mesquite thing for us. So right, if he's nice. issues, I mean, uh, it's a big deal. That's very good. All right. Well, very good. All right. Uh, well, my, I'd like to, uh, hey, Mom, I'm going to call you tomorrow morning while I'm out walking the dog. In case you're watching, is there anything else? Any no. other you're you're going to ask her how to keep this thing clean. That's <laughs> yeah, what you're right. going to ask her. I'm, I'm going to have to put this like in a hyperbaric <laughs> chamber to keep it uh, sealed and cleaned. But uh, yeah, because this is as white as these sleeves are ever <laughs> going to be. So anyway, back to the uh, to the Taco Express. 
this is very cool also just different curated matches one that we'll get to here in a little while uh here's the there's a there's a trivia question i won't spoil it and tell you it talks about outerwear there's all kinds of good stuff so make sure you log in uh to the website and get signed up to grab the taco express americancornal.com easy way to do that now i made mention of the fact that you're going to be asked to make comments and uh uh, it's not just anybody asking you to make comments. It's our good buddy, Rich Pyle. Take it, Rich. <laughs> Thanks, Frank and Finn, you taco duo or taco twosome. Or... We need to come up with a team name for you guys at the taco. You know what, everybody, in the comments below, type in what you think Frank and Finn's team name should be for the taco. But before we get into that, let me remind you that tomorrow, Wednesday, 6 o'clock, is the new episode of Whole Nation. We have the RNS Airmail Challenge, the return of Shot of the Week, Hampton Farms Blindfold Challenge, Get to Know Your ACO Family, Pictures from Cedar Rapids, all kinds of great stuff. But until then, now, now you can go down to where the comments are. Tell me what your name is or what, what kind of name you think Frank and Finn should have for their team name for the taco. But until then, let's head back to Frank and Finn, the duo taco or taco tushima i don't know what it sounds like all right thank you very much rich now team taco team right. taco is a good one <laughs> or taco tuesday t-w-o s-d-a-y because we're the two on Taco Tuesday. Okay. I'm but I, th I think I might like I think I might like Heinerman. <laughs> Heinerman's the best. While we were watching the segment there, I think I might like this one, this one the best. What was it? Soft uh, and crunchy. Soft baby. and crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be that could be a pretty pretty good one. The Taco Tornadoes, the Taco Turds, Don Bailey. Come on, we're no Amber Heard. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Greg, we're back to Bud Light. We are. And, in fact, we're housing them in these uh, these koozies that were given to us by Money Mike. So Money Mike, you. baby. Money, thank we you. appreciate that. And uh, it was funny. Last week, we switched to uh, Miller Light just out of necessity because it was what was in the fridge. And we thought, ah, nobody will notice. Within one second, someone noticed. And I think uh, I think uh, we, we, we have gone Taco Amigos. That's a good one. Uh, Tornadoes. We've, we've, we have Tornados. Uh, reestablished ourselves. So, anyway. Cheers to you. Keep them coming, man. We're looking for that name. But that whole nation episode should be a good one. And the shot of the week is from Cedar Rapids. And uh, it's from, I'm going to go ahead and say, did you see it? I, it's from you, Bob Heil. Oh, Bob Heil. It's Heil's not one shot. of yours. Sorry about that in the grudge no, match. It should have been. It should have been, but it, well, there, wasn't, there wasn't one worthy of shot of the week in that one. Uh, trust me. And uh, we'll get to that here in just a moment as well. But uh yeah, so tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, Whole Nation, new episode. Thanks to Rich and Tracy Pyle. Tracy, who just got mail uh, yesterday, and another purple jersey shows another up in her mail. Jersey. And then uh, the only comment... Well, now on, Rich gets to wear one of them. Well, no. He, <laughs> he's, his only comment on the on the post was, great, more laundry for me to do. So, <laughs> more uh, la yeah. And, more and, laundry. <laughs> So uh, speaking of more laundry, this is pretty cool new laundry that we've got out there. And uh, there's Dude, one behind us. We'll get to that. Royal red, all sorts of colors. Royal red, white, and blue. Go figure. And mama so white. We'll tell you more about that. Uh, hey, we were talking about the Bulldog the last couple of weeks. Mike Schaefer Sr., a guy who was looking uh, forward to this weekend. You just got off the phone with him. Yep, he's looking doing pretty decent. Yeah, looking forward to this weekend to being able to spend some time with the ACO family. Uh now, the way that this is set up is there are going to be these activities, a little cornhole being pitched, as you would imagine, for Mike Schaefer, shoulder-to-shoulder uh, -shoulder with one of the, uh, I think, the the, the longest-running, I won't say oldest, but the longest-running consistent member of the ACO, yep. besides you, involved in the organization. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Eric is right behind, uh, so it's a, yeah. it's a cat race between the three of us. But, uh, yeah, that, those would be it. Yeah, very good. All right, so it's this Saturday. It's uh, the Fairfield Civitan Club Fields in Fairfield, Ohio. And it's an outdoor event. Now, if there's, we're working on a rain, a rain option. possibly option yeah. for a second location. And uh, so if that happens, we may cut a special edition of video just to put out there to let you know. But uh, for now, it Ta is Taco as, Tickler. Yes, it's a, it's a little. <laughs> I don't think I like the Taco Tickler all that much. The, uh, 
But uh, and then <laughs> I don't and, want to say anything. And one of the things that uh, is going on, I mean, obviously we want to rally around the bulldog uh, as he continues his treatments to battle, uh, you know what, the c word. But uh, Hal, our buddy Hal, did something pretty dynamic. Did you already bring that picture up? Have we already shown that picture? Look at that. That's William Hal. And I Who? originally, that's, yeah, I know, right? It looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. No doubt. Uh, living out in the woods. But that's Hal. He, he as Bulldog Strong. Like, is this sh- a few years back or is this like no, now? No, this is this morning. This is this morning. Yeah, in honor, in honor of Schaefer and his struggle and his fight. He's bulldog strong, and he's gone ahead and done this. And uh, look, I mean, it's, he still looks like a badass. He doesn't look like anybody I'd want to run into in the backwoods or a back alley. But uh, uh, cheers to you. He had a full video, but it was shot horizontally. So he's going to do a video after the event, uh, you know, maybe 60 seconds, just kind of a recap, but, you know, with the energy and the fight for bulldog strong. So look, I mean, that's commitment, Hal. God that bless awesome. you, brother. That's very cool. Very, very cool. Bulldog Strong is the hashtag. Pipfall, they were in the house uh, the other day in Cedar Rapids. Good for them uh, to have that $1,000 Pipfall Challenge. We're working our way towards the $2,500 purse at the Worlds. So we'll continue to uh, look forward to that as well with our friends from Pipfall. Uh, and then this is this is a segment that the jury is still out on. Not uh, 100% sure if uh, people like this. Uh, because the jury is still determining how much they love this. It's not about liking it. <laughs> it's it's about loving it's it. It's becoming my favorite part of the taco, <laughs> man. It's, it's it is my favorite. We part just of the need taco. to have one of those over ca- top of us. We just need to have a case of tacos back here so we can just eat and watch, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, Boogie, get ready because this is going to have to start being a thirty-minute feature so we can have a little dinner during the show. But we like to call this. It was originally going to be called the Boogie Buzz Cut because you know he does the the barbering, but he shortened it to the Boogie Buzz. And who are we to argue? with this kind of genius. Well, hello, and welcome back to the buzz. What a weekend it was at Cedar Rapids. You guys had a blast and I am jealous that I cannot be there. But welcome to the first Boogie Buzz inside the barbershop. A few more will be filmed here if I'm not gallivanting around the United States as I do. But there's so much stuff that went on, we got to get to it all. But how about that grudge match between Aaron Candler and Frank the Tank? It was so good, I wrote a song about it. So, if you don't mind, I'll grab my guitar and play it for you guys. And welcome back. Now it's time for a little jam I wrote to commemorate that phenomenal matchup between Aaron Candler and Frank the Tank. But before I do, I must mention these new stamp bags. I'm loving it, fellas. They look great, they throw great, and if you got a great bag out there that's not ACO stamp, you better get on it. Killer bees, I'm looking at you. All right. Oh, how could I not mention Miss Stacy Van Gowder joining the broadcast crew? Can't wait to sit next to you, girl, and talk some nonsense on the microphone. Good luck, by the way. It's a rough crap. <clears throat> and what about the king? I mean, Gary Slim Fady was breaking it down in the rapids. I'm the boogeyman, but I can't touch this guy's moves. I see you out there, big guy. I see you. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Mr. Gears, as far as the MC idea, you betcha I'll be there in jacket and toe. Here we go. <clears throat> you guys So see you next time on the booth. <laughs> no, it's got a ring to it. That's a good that's a pretty good little composition you got there. I think he should be the opening act for Max next time we go out with that song. He could play that song 60 times in one minute. That is really solid. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't know what he's talking about, the grudge match, you still have an opportunity to find it. It's uh, it's uh, Candler versus Gears, a two-game grudge match, which was settled uh, the next day. But it is absolutely worth a watch if you get a chance to check it out at AmericanCornhole.com. And on our way home, 
from Cedar Rapids, we stopped in to grab a little something, something to drink, get a little gas. And as we're standing, sometimes there's this serendipity. There are just certain things that happen and um, and that you run across. And I'm like, how is this possible? I'm standing at the counter and I look over to my left and I'm like, we got to get two of these. And Frank is cradling them right now. Just go ahead and show them <laughs> they're, on screen. They're, they're actually boogie balls. They're boogie they're balls. They're freaking boogie balls. Yeah, show look them. At these things. Show them the boogie they're, balls. They're boogie balls. You, no, no, show them. Make sure they can Call see the, the label. Do you see the boogie balls? They got to be able to label? see the. <laughs> They're solid. And, here, yeah, those are pretty, <laughs> those are cooker, pretty good. Boogie 15% balls. percent alcohol. Cocktails. <laughs> it's called a chalk tease. So uh, I think the uh, theme continues to play through. <laughs> I don't think they're as cold as they need to be, so we'll save those later. Yeah, freeze those. They're but, little uh, ice creams. Uh, they're not boogie balls. They're called <laughs> buzz balls. But anyway, close enough. So no, anyway, there's no sponsor. Boogie, well done. Nicely done. So uh, yeah, you're getting a uh, Massey says great song. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> So anyway, we hope you like that. Now, one of the things we normally do would be a, a little time to fill, but with no major this weekend, no picks, uh, Phil is going to wait until we move ahead to Mesquite. But I'll tell you what, of all the picks that he made last week, and we talked about this, he nailed DJ Long. He he got that. I mean, of all, I mean, think about the talent for a first time in Cedar Rapids. Who was there? You, you were talking about in tier three, you were getting your ass handed to you by a young lady who was throwing 12s every single time. The the number of players that were in tier two and tier three that got bounced out of the main bracket, it was serious talent. And for him to pull DJ Long out of that entire group was pretty impressive. So to the Mississippi Ninja, I tipped my lid. That was very well done, my friend. He gets them right every now and then. Uh, you get, well, I'll get, get that one to him. He said that was one of the hardest ones he ever had to pick, and he got it right. And I'll tell you what, DJ threw fire. I mean, he was consistent. He had a little bit of a hiccup, I think, right before he got to his final match because he took a break. But he got up there, and he got back on track, and it was just it was fire. We'll get to that here in just a moment. But let's talk about the majors that are still coming up. We mentioned Mesquite. That's coming up on May 6 and 7. The Rising Star Sports Ranch, Mesquite, Nevada. That's always a fun one. You can, like I said, you can uh, catch the aroma of the Mesquite from here. May 13 and 14, it's ACO Happy Valley. So that'll be a fun one as well. Um, that's going to be there at the uh, um, uh, it's the Nittany Valley Sports Complex there in State College, PA, there where Penn State is. The ACO Cincinnati Major. Now, we didn't have time to update this slide because this just came through today. But there's a change of venue for the Cincinnati Major. Yep, it's going to be over in Fairfield, and we'll get you the full details out online. But it's the, um, yep. Yeah, it's going to be at a, it's one of those indoor soccer field it's setups. Real nice setup. And, and here's the thing I'm going to tell you, because of when it is, and I know you want to know this, yes, it's climate controlled. A huge upper deck viewing area, great beer prices. They're going to work out a little outdoor space for us as well. It's going to be a cool venue. It's going to be a little bit north of town versus west of town. So make sure that uh, you note the change so that you don't end up standing around going, where is everybody? Yeah, and it's... we'll get that out, that information out to you. But uh, so that's, again, that's May 20 and 21. And then at the end of the month, we wrap up all our majors in Branson, in Branson Missouri, as we are going to be doing every year as long as they'll have. It's Memorial Day weekend. Going to be a huge weekend. Lots of fun. And the predecessor and the, um, uh, the, the, the preview, if you will, of the world's the final week of July. Now, there's lots going on between Branson 1 and Branson 2 that we're going to get to. Uh, and you can find out about actually in the Taco Express all the different events. But, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to Branson to wrap up our major season on stadium as well. Uh, and, and let's talk about not only where we're going, but now let's talk about where we were. And this was, this was a big one, a good first year. It was a great first year out in Cedar Rapids. Uh, just a, it, it, a fun city, Finn. I mean, it, it reminded me a lot of a uh, little bit of Knoxville, maybe a little bit of Owensboro. You know, we get downtown. Charleston. The Charleston was another. A lot good, of, well, we're right on a river. You got the again. River, river community, lots of restaurants, bars. Um, shoot, I mean, we hit like three or four really good restaurant bars along the way. Yeah. Looking for uh, a little Chilsner. Yeah, we had a little Rock 108 Chilsner, which was the radio partner that we had there in town. Um, but, you know, 150-some players in from, what, 16 states. Uh, just just good stuff. And we, and we had a really good group from the local area. There were about probably 16 to 18 players 
that were in locally, Wendy Blood and her team. And uh, they were they were a lot of fun. It was a good group. You never uh, had the chance, I don't think, did you, to get on one of those scooters? You know how they have the little scooters that no. you ride around on? You will never. I am fat enough. You will not find me <laughs> on a scooter. Here's the problem. I'm gonna, if I may, might, might I digress? We are the fattest country on the planet Earth, and yet we can't even walk a few blocks downtown now. We have to hop on one of those birds or whatever those are. You'll never catch me on one of those. And I'm making it about weight, but it's probably because I'll fall and break my leg. Well, these were actually scooters. Did yeah. you not actually see no, the scooters the scooter as well scooters. as the birds? I Again, mean, uh, I still, God gave me two legs that are still working. I'm going to keep using them. Right. So anyway, there, but I get your point. So <laughs> how about Whitney Garner and Jacob Garner and the whole Garner crew? Brian Jones, Burton Grimes, Chris Clark, April Clemens from a distance. From a distance. Outstanding. Doing a heck of a job. Aaron Candler, uh, Danny Mead. Uh, Phil Barnett, of course, the Ninja, and Stacy Van Gilder. We appreciate anything and everything that you brought to the table and to center court. There you see them right there. There's uh, the Mississippi Ninja and Stacy Van Gilder, who we uh, found out Stacy has a gig. She is Amber Fretwell's stunt double. When Amber is in movies and TV shows, <laughs> Stacy is her stunt double. You've and heard vice that. versa. And vice versa. So Those thanks, two look a lot alike. Yeah, thanks to the local crew. Uh, we appreciate everything that you did to make it a success and a success it certainly was so the thousand dollar pitfall challenge how about the aforementioned dan mead and he goes you call me danny the only people that call me danny are family i'm like come here brother <laughs> come here <laughs> come here <laughs> did you know that was his first time to win the pitfall first time ever to play in the pitfall and he goes out and win it it's just that easy so if you're not signing up for pitfall I don't know why you aren't. <laughs> I know. Because if Dan Mead can win Pitfall his first time out the gate, right? Anybody can win it. And the thing is, you can. Your you brother, can, your little brother, yeah, my little, that thing. Yeah, you can. You can throw. <laughs> you can buy a set and practice all you want. These things, I mean, they're available out there. There's a spring special going on. I think thirty nine bucks is what they got going on right now. Get yourself a set and practice. I mean, you can't control what comes up on the die, but you can control whether it lands on the board. And uh, Danny and John Kingfisher did it better than anybody else, so they took first place in the ACO Pitfall Challenge. Brett Heil, who uh, had a pretty good weekend himself. It was good to see him out. And uh, Nick Ponovich came in second. In the blind draw quads, it was Persinger, Ryder, Kingfisher, and Bear Paul, names that you're going to be hearing more of here in just a moment. But uh, the Hampton Farms big blind draw, Chase Puckett and Bob Heil. I mean, honestly, in a big blind draw, that's a pretty good draw. It's a good draw. Over DJ Long and Chris Seaton. And then Juan Moreno and Kyle Brown in third for the Hampton Farms Big Blind Draw. Speaking of Hampton Farms, night number two of the Hampton Farms Big Blindfold Challenge. How crazy Challenge was that? Is one of the, is one of the best it's ones best. ever. And we're going we're gonna to find that video. That's going to be so hard to repeat. From I mean, I don't, it'll never seriously. be. Right. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I never thought it would happen. And I'm telling you right now, it'll never happen again. And, and we won't tell you what it is. But when we get this one bit of video... Uh, because who was it? Cook Majors. Cook lays down. Just I'm just going to tell you this. No, no, no. She lays down no, a really no, good no, first no, shot. No, 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 no. Don't say anything. That's all I said. And then That's Zach. That's all I said. Was it Zach who was? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then Zach, I, I apologize. I forget your last name because it blew out of my mind with what you did. But um, anyway, when we when we clip this out, we're definitely going to post this and highlight this one because you'll you'll see the reaction to what happens. And uh, so anyway, but uh, thanks to Hampton Farms. As always, senior singles, Terry Dawson and Bob Heil. Bob almost double dipped him. In fact, Terry told me, he goes, when he won, when he finally won, he didn't even know he had won for like 10 seconds <laughs> because he didn't expect to win on an opponent's throw. But Johnny Thomas and Bob Heil battled. Uh, they caught up with Der Terry in the king seat. Bob, great weekend, but no, just this close. So congratulations to T-Bone and the women's singles. The uh, aforementioned Stacy Van Gilder, third place, Philly Rainier, who was throwing lights out and, and is one of the most fun people for me to watch because normally when people throw a bad shot, they get all mad and they, you know, they, you see them lock their jaw or whatever. She just laughs it off and moves on to the next, to the next toss. But she was uh, just bested by Amber Fretwell, who had herself a very another nice weekend. Great, uh, another great major. Another great major. Yeah. Des Stevenson took third in junior. Sammy Van Sickle brought himself out there in, little his, Sammy. in his little smart mouth. And uh, good for him. And uh, Sebastian Barger ends up walking away with another trophy. I mean, this kid's just racking up wood, well, like so a teenage boy should, I guess. I, I learned a little something about uh, about Sebastian this weekend. You know, he wants to be a math teacher. So he graduates yeah. from high school this year. 
Uh, he's going on to college, and uh, he's going to be a math teacher. Yeah, that'll be good because the kids in his class are going to come home and go, uh, Mommy, my teacher th- taught me something today that's different than the book. Oh, yeah, what's that? Uh, he taught me about an and one. What is that? I don't understand what that is in math. Oh, we know that guy. <laughs> Co-ed doubles, Ashley Irvin and Craig Irvin take third. Lexi Hugeback and Blake Karnick. This was a battle. They got bounced and they worked their way back up through the elimination bracket for a rematch against Philly and Tyler. But Philly, Rainier, and Tyler Amos end up taking it for their first respective trophies in the ACO. I have to I have to do a special call out because my player of the week was Blake, Blake Karnick. Karnick yeah. I mean, the guy played phenomenal. All I week. mean, Yep. When I saw him playing in that co-ed match, that was a, that was a really really fun match to watch. I mean, they took it to two games, right? Yep. Almost double dipped them, and uh, yeah, Lexi and, and Blake just were this close to I know, taking and that I, time. And I will tell you, it's the first time I've ever seen Lexi throw. She has a very interesting throw. She stops the bag kind of midway, and it just shoots out of her hand. It's like it's being jerked out of her hand. And they were perfectly matched with one another. But if you get a chance, go back and watch their second game because there is something that Blake does that. And I think if you look on his Facebook page, you'll see he's, he's soloed out just these, this part of the game, but there's something he does that we didn't think he could do once. And then he does it again. I've never seen anybody do something like this. And again, my experience is limited with understanding exactly what is and is not possible. I didn't think it was possible once and he did it twice. So that's all I'll say. Yeah. But Blake, you, you're it right. Had a was great, pretty spectacular. A great weekend. ACO World Doubles Tier 3. It was Adam Brower and Cooper Brower grabbed the points in Tier 3. Adam Lambert and Jimmy Naylor grabbed points out of Tier 2. And then, look at, again, look at this uh, this doubles. Uh, Bob Heil and Frank Hughes are tied for fifth with Francisco Zamudo and Juan Moreno. Um, and we had that get match on center court. Austin Thomason and Willie Johns take fourth. Taz and Tyler are in third, and then this was the latest in the final match of the evening. It ended up going to two games, and this close, and it's and it's kind of funny because it was this close for Blake to be able, as you said, to take his game to that level he needed to, to earn he and his dad, um, Joel Karnick. Whose birthday a, it was. A birthday present, and it would have, well, here's the deal. The match started on Joel's birthday, and it ended on Gary Bearball's birthday. So Gary's birthday was Sunday. So... Blake and Joel, this close to grabbing it for Joel's birthday, but Gary and Gavin, who was a, was an ad hoc team put together that day, end up taking the doubles uh, a little bit after midnight. So happy birthday to both Joel and to Gary Bearpaw. And uh, so, and and uh, that, you're right. There's going to be we're going to be hearing the name, well, the name Karnick a lot, no matter what, Absolutely. one way or another. And in singles, Mike Smithers takes points in um, tier three. Shane Fretwell takes him in tier two. And then, you know, you look in the in, in, tied for fifth, Austin Thomas and, Austin and Amber Fretwell tied for fifth, Michael Chittenden. He had a great weekend. He was, he was just tearing through the singles bracket. And then he ran into a bit of a buzzsaw later on and Tyler Amos and Craig Irvin third and second. But as we mentioned before, it was uh, Phil's pick DJ long who ended up stepping up and, uh, and delivering consistency, which was the key. Well, and again, uh, one of the things I want to point out here, Finn, is uh, unlike a lot of weekends, we're talking about the juniors in here. Yeah. Finally, we get a weekend where we're not have don't have so many juniors, but you know what we have is one of the most solid women on the planet, and Amber Fretwell finishing yeah. in the top five there, top six. So uh, this game, this game, everybody talks about anybody can win it, and that's true. Anybody can win it, um, but if you really aren't on your game, you have no chance. And, yeah. and we do see those people that are consistently able to be on their game. You know, this weekend, you know, I had moments when I was out just messing around where I was on my game and uh, had one of the greatest games of my life where I actually put 23 of 24 in the hole, which means, again, that anybody on the planet can play the game at one moment. I was trying to figure but out then how, the he, next, how he was going to get to and this. And the next, next – couched it in a praise for and you. And the next minute – I'll put 23 on the floor. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's okay. how my game is. Watch the grudge match. These, these consistent players, you know, like the Amber Fretwells yeah. and the DJ Longs and the Craig Irvins, I mean, they do it time and time again, every time. Yeah. You know, players like me just sporadically well, have a good game. And you're watching players like Bob Heil start to build that consistency. He's a guy right. over the last few years 
has, you know, his name would be here and then it wouldn't be here and then it would be here and then it would be. Now, every time he plays, his name gets a call. You know what I mean? Yep. So he's working himself into that vibe, for instance. He's one that I'm thinking of. But there's guys... He's a perfect um, one, though. He's, you know, he's and there, and there's, there. But there's guys like whose name popped up a lot at the beginning of the season and was playing lights out. Uh, Johnny Thomas yeah. is a guy. But then he can come in and he can run right into a wall. And that's going to be it for him. But he has a blast just hanging around watching and playing with other people and cheering for other people or whatever. So um, to your point, you're exactly right. you got to bring it every time. Yeah, every or, time. Or you're going to find yourself sitting around going, hey, good for you. Well done. I got myself another beer and a Met. So uh, anyway, yeah. so time to fill. I know we uh, we don't have the audio this week, do we? Did we oh, we do get one? We do? All right. So he's... We have the results screen, then we have the state championship. Oh, okay. Well, my bad. I didn't know that he had gotten that to us in time. So, Phil, my my apologies, partner. I didn't uh, realize that uh, this had come in. So this is a little added bonus for me. It's a we, bonus pick. We get to sit back and uh, let Phil take over for a couple minutes. Go get him, buddy. Hello, everybody out there. Another segment of Time to Feel. Not too bad last week. Bob Howe could have made it better if he could have made one shot. But you got to give him credit. He went for the win, but took the loss. So this week, no majors, a little something different. I'm going to pick three state championship winners, and I'm going to do the women, the doubles, and the singles. So let's start with Arkansas, the women. Let's go with Stacey Van Gilder taking that down. The doubles, Zach Mitchell, Scott Mitchell, who's been playing really well lately. And I'm going to go with the singles. I'm going to go with Zach Mitchell, who could, could get challenged by Nathan Tarkington here. And let's go to Kentucky, where I'll be doing the commentating on their live stream. Let's go with women. Let's go with Sarah Yates taking that down. In doubles, I'm going to go with Russell Tabers and Mark Smothers. And in singles, I'm going to pick none other than Matt Gammon. And then I'm going to move to Tennessee, which is close to my home state of Mississippi. And I'm going to end the women. I'm going to go with the kitty girl, Caitlin Ham, taking the women's field down. I'm going to go for doubles. Lane Cruz and Brock Beasley, who either one of these could win the singles, but I'm going to go with Zach Adams to win the singles. And that's my picks this week. Something different on Time to Feel. See you guys soon. <laughs> All right. Phil, thanks, brother. Again, I appreciate that. And uh, uh, some, some, some interesting picks there. You were mentioning the uh, Tabor Smothers pick. Interesting there, because uh, Smothers, Smothers is coming off Smothers the IR. Coming off the, uh, yeah, he's coming off IR, man. So I hope Smothers is doing uh, doing well. I called him a while back, uh, but uh, haven't seen him out pitching. I did see, actually, I did see something with him out playing a few uh, couple weeks ago, maybe. But there'll be that's an interesting pick, Philip. If that that one comes in, I'll be surprised. That means Mark Smothers knows how to work out. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and uh, Sarah Yates, another interesting pick in the Kentucky State Finals, and uh, Matt Gammon. Not a surprise whatsoever. No, nope, not a surprise the way he's pitching this season, man. He is on fire. And uh, no shock that he went for one of the kitty girls, Caitlin Ham in Tennessee, and uh, Lane and Brock. Nothing, nothing. Well, Zach, Zach, interestingly enough, uh, might be a little bit of a dark horse in there, but clearly uh, the the ninja was three for six out of Cedar Rapids with a very tough field. So I have a feeling he's dialed in uh, for these state championships. All right, so let's move on from players to COs who are also players. But uh, how about Matt and Melinda Burnett as uh, our uh, COs of the week? Well, first thing, I, I got to see them for just a few minutes out in Cedar Rapids. They were in, they were out, they were in, they're out. So uh, they are outstanding players they, and, and COs. They, they traveled the country. Melinda beat me down out in Nebraska this year a couple times. I think I might have played her twice and she beat me. But what me about down. in Cornhole? But... Uh, <laughs> That was out uh, celebrating. Uh, I, shoot, they're, they are a great couple. They've been around with us. I think this year we've celebrated, and uh, or I celebrated with them, their anniversary when we were in uh, Lubbock, Texas. Okay. So they traveled. Uh, and these guys are dedicated COs to the ACO. They actually drove equipment for me from their hometown oh, to right. Lubbock. Yeah, right. So I that was that, awesome. Yeah. So they go out of their way to really help the ACO out, and, and I love it, man. Outstanding. Good White County Baggers is who they call home. Crossville, Illinois is where they actually call home. And let's talk a little lifetime members now. Oh. All right. How about this? 007, David Vaughn, the guy responsible for 
a piece of equipment that we offloaded this past weekend in Cedar Rapids that was misplaced for a brief moment, and I about lost it completely. We had set up all the broadcast, thousands of dollars of broadcast equipment, and we're getting ready to leave. I'm like, where's my cup? Where's it? The whole place was looking for the cup, and then I remembered where I put it. So it's the it's the key piece of equipment for me to be able to get through a broadcast, David Vaughn. Uh, he's a CO, Delta Cornhole. I know that he's moved uh, since we were in Tupelo. Uh, so he's in a different area now. But number seven, 007, on the lifers list. And uh, we certainly appreciate you there, brother. I think he's I, in I did, I did a status Mississippi check, too, now, on right? my cup. My cup is still at the Axe Bar. I checked on that today, yesterday, actually. Does it still have a pin spot on it, pin spotlight, up on the shelf? Oh, yeah, two. Does it? Ooh, right. It glows. It makes a yeah. sound when you come in, right? Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sound it's going to make is being thrown on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to smash. Uh, but anyway, so I appreciate you. 007. Uh, Clarksdale, Mississippi now is where he calls home. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing him out and about and uh, very likely in Branson. And you're talking about the lifetime members, Finn. And uh, this weekend I got hit up by a couple more people. A couple new. Yep. And they got to call our, our bulldog now, uh, Hal. Yeah, because that's who they have to go through, right? Uh, uh, the the, uh, the how the boom, but uh, to get approved. But we were talking about the different types of tats. You know what we might do is uh, add another process here. I think I'm going to be the first person to get branded. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. He'd start crying if I tried to draw a sharpie tattoo yeah. on him. So right we're now. doing a lot of stuff a in brand. The, what are you, yellow stuff? We're doing a lot of stuff in the merchandising side of stuff. So Sonia's bought a uh, a logo for branding, so I'm, I think I'm tempted to do it. Yeah, <laughs> you'll do a brand. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted. We need to, to do get it. that moonshine out of the locker. <laughs> That's what we'll you, do. Will you do really do it? That's right. Would you really Heinerman? Heinerman's behind the camera. <laughs> you would really do the brand versus the tattoo. <laughs> All yeah, right. so maybe All he'll right. be our we'll be our first two branders. Hang on for a second. Where's my phone? I want video. Hang on for a second. Well, you, this is a first. We've never actually gone behind the scenes at you're, the talk. You're pulling it in. Hang on. Hold on. Hold please. Oh uh, man. Hang but... on. And video mm-hmm. here and action okay eric heinerman we are live on the taco right now would you get branded instead of tattooed (laughs) what are you talking about all right all right i turned it off would you do it yeah you would Uh, all right i didn't turn it off i got it all right (laughs) all right yellowstone uh product of the week the aco jerseys these player style crew neck camo jerseys these are pretty cool. How about these things? It's another uh, Jack Stevens creation. I love it. How can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what. One you don't have other, to buy it with Stevens' name on it. One, one, yeah, right. <laughs> it helps if your name is Stevens. We only have two. Uh, but I'll tell you what. These these hoodies that came out this, past, this past week, you got to love these bad boys. These are like the old school. I can't even get off That's OG. There. But it's all right. Just leave it there. I got you. I got you. Look at that right there. Huh? A little red. A little red, a little white, and a blue. I think we have blue. Uh, in the, apparently uh, the white one comes in 3D. And you know what's coming out soon again? Oh, yeah. These will be available in a week. We're working uh, right now with CLC to help get these things produced for us. So, um, And those are? These are going to be, uh, these are the Field of Dreams jerseys. Here, can you see it? Yep, check it out. It's the uh, Go the Distance Festival. Stand up a little bit more. Let them see the logo. There you go. Yeah. Very good. You can't see yeah. it at all. I know you can. You can see it Could now. <laughs> I just wish you hadn't had that bean burrito for lunch, but whatever. Um, yeah, so these are coming out. They are buttoned down the middle, but is there talk about maybe doing a pullover version? We got a pullover well? coming as well. So yeah. it doesn't have the buttons on the front if that throws you for some reason, but these are killer. This is going to be the inaugural year for the Go the Distance Festival, and these will be collector's items, these specific jerseys. This is a, a mock-up that uh, you've really enjoyed. Thursday Night Frank enjoyed being out. In his, in Cedar Rapids. I have not been watching comments. Um, oh, damn. Aaron Lambert said our first place tier two picture didn't make it into the uh, slideshow. Sorry about that, bud. Um, we have we hold that photo They're coming. in our hearts. <laughs> Trust me. Um, They're coming. ACO Hotel for the Cincinnati Major. As Zikowski you know, as you know there's, there's a thing. Oh, yeah. Sleeping with the wood. Sleeping, sleeping <laughs> with, the, uh, with the trophy. Want to know uh, if you got uh, if you got those pictures? Send them on. But um, yeah, what, where's the hotel going to be for the uh, Cincinnati Major? 
Those are coming. Uh, actually, might have those uh, working with them today. Uh, we have four hotels. There's a lot of good hotels around that area. Yeah. There's an amazing mall. I mean, movie theaters. There's a place to do skydiving right next to this, like yeah. maybe three miles away. One of those I fly places. I fly places. It's indoor skydiving. And this this area up north is very cool. There's a lot of, there's a Top Golf up there. There's I fly. There's all kinds of different uh, retail, a lot of hotels. I think you're going to do this. All within like a, Two yeah. to five mile radius. There's yeah. a casino for all you guys that like to bet a little bit. Yep. Uh, What's Miami it, Miami Valley, Gaming? Miami Valley Gaming is there. Um, there's just, just lots of stuff to do in the Fairfield area. So, yeah, we'll be we'll be in good shape. We'll get the information out to you and have all that worked out. April loves the boogie buzz. Never know what's going to come out of that guy. Jordan, love it, love it, love it. Oh, Billy. I don't know where Billy is, Jacob. Dude. That's a, we didn't <laughs> yeah, get to that. We didn't we? get to Oh, Billy. How much time oh, we have it? some special oh, gear. Oh, my God, it's we 45. Have, we have some special gear coming out uh, in a couple of weeks, specifically for Whitney, Garner, and Jacob. It's the Oh, Billy line. Yeah. It was going to be a surprise, but you know how good the squirrel is at keeping a secret. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy. Well, here's what's so funny, and I'm going to tell you this. Whitney, I think you and I are the only two who know what oh billy is from because he's like i sent it to Heinrich. he goes i i did i missed the oh billy joke and do we have time to tell the story do you want to tell the story or you tell, tell it later i feel like i might need a new beer for this story but anyway so i showed him the video he goes what's that from and it's from the cable guy it's when uh matthew broderick is in uh is in uh jail and no, I, I was with you. You showed it to me. Oh, I did show it to you. And he gets, he presses himself up against the glass. Oh, oh Billy. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. Uh oh. Well, Camera the funniest moves. thing about it is I think that, that uh, Jacob Garner also didn't understand didn't what it was, what it was because that's how the whole thing got going with Whitney. Yeah. Because we were talking about something and um, I forget what it was. Um, but then Whitney goes, Oh, oh Billy. Billy! And Jacob and goes. Do this and Jacob goes. <laughs> Who's, Who's Billy? <laughs> <laughs> so it was so yeah. perfect. When I think of when you guys were when you, when everybody was leaving to go home, you gave her a hug and she said goodbye, Billy. And Jacob goes, <laughs> Wait, what? So anyway, the story goes like something like this: He got up in the middle of the night. Is that right? I'm listening to the story. I don't. I'm, you tell me. <laughs> You're saying who's the story? Guy. I don't. I don't know. That's all I know. He got up in the middle of the night and walked out the wrong door. Oh, that he, was at the event, and I mean, at the hotel. At the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so he walked <laughs> so, out the wrong. He walked out the front door instead of into the bathroom, and he locked himself out. No, he went out his bedroom door for some reason. I don't know why. He's in his underwear. Yeah. Goes comes back to the room, but comes back to the wrong door. <laughs> Knocks on the door and some dude answers it. <laughs> was that Billy? That was is Billy. That who Billy is? Oh, Billy! All right. Uh, uh, Shan, we're gonna stop the story at yeah, that. Yeah, that's because I don't even I don't even know if that's even it. Shan Sheehan's coming to Mesquite. Needs a doubles partner, so reach out if you need something. Um, and uh, I, t- I tell you, this uh, I want to I want to end where we began. This stack in front of me represents a small percentage of the new bag manufacturers that are going to be part of what we got going with the pro series this coming year. Yep. This is awesome. Uh, and there are some really killer bags, ACO Good stamped. Time. And I'll, and there's some people that I, I, I know I'm watching a little bit of nah, 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 nah going on online. I get it. You invested a bunch of money in bags, but I guarantee you, you will find a bag there. that fits you with one of these manufacturers. If you want to play in that pro series, you will find a bag. Lucky's just joined on. Charlie Case is on. Charlie Case uh, Miggy's on. on. Miggy's on. Uh, but, I mean, you saw the list that Frank posted the other day. Prodigy, uh, a host of IMF, uh, a bunch. Yeah. There's, there, There's, we're, we're, we're at 16 or 17 right now. And yeah. I, I got I was talking with three or four more today that are coming on board, yeah. I think. So, so, so it's exciting. The, the good news is, so, for instance, like, like Heil and some of the guys that throw the Luckies. You're going to have the chance to do that. You're going to have your bags. Yep. That, and that's going to be, and you know what, honestly, that is a payoff for the loyalty that you've shown to his bags and he has shown to us and that we intend to show to you. And part of that is, and this is the other thing, and I want to make, I want to be as clear as I can on this because as, as a non-player, but just as somebody who watches how business is done, 
the ability to open this up at an affordable rate for bag manufacturers that want to get out and show off what they're capable of doing. I mean, I'm holding these two Afford bags yeah, from, crazy, two, from two different, look, I mean, two from IMF, and these are the YSO series bags. These are two of the two of the manufacturers. I feel the difference in these bags, but I, I don't know them the way you know them. You will find something in these lines of bags that work for you, and they're able to come in, and they're able to be partners. This is a partnership, not a dictatorship. And I don't care who sees this video. I don't care who watches it and doesn't like what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. This is to be partners, a partnership, not a dictatorship. We don't need to own part of your business. We don't need this. We don't need you to open your book. We, we want you to come in here. We want you to celebrate your players, your bags, and we want your players to be able to work as many series of bags in as they want. What has been created, I don't even agree with the way that it's been done on some fronts because I'm like, it could be worth so much more to do it this way. But ultimately, if you sell a lot of bags and your players win with your bags, you end up selling. Dude, it's, it's, it's got that NASCAR vibe. You win on Sunday, you sell on Monday. And the program that we put together truly is great for the bag manufacturers and it's great and for, for the, the players. players yeah because right now for like 80 cents a day these guys are being able to now market like, themselves now you, man. Like, now you sound like 80 cents a day sally struthers or uh, seriously though the one with i'm the just SPCA. saying it's, it's it makes no, it right. it's it makes it for, uh, for any of these guys and then on on top of that we have now options for the players. You know, yeah. there are so many great bag manufacturers out there that are becoming part of this program. They are going to give the players what they want to need. If you can't find a bag amongst all these great manufacturing right. companies to play the game of cornhole, then... Um, and you, you can. Yeah. You, you might want to go play horseshoes or tiddlywinks. Well, here's the other thing. A lot of it... A lot of it not your game. A lot of it's up here. Um, you don't be, you don't have to be afraid to say, I'll go look for something else. And honestly, you've got a year, a season, a season and a half, two seasons to make your conversion, find your bags. And who knows with all these new manufacturers, maybe a new sponsor, if you don't have a sponsor or you can augment your sponsorship and then they have the opportunity as they get in and test drive this program, if they like it with the pro series and others, there are ways that they can elevate their involvement, they being the bag manufacturers with the ACO. And that's where we get into multi-level options and so much more where we start talking about specific bag drops and things like that. And then the kind of the fun part for me watching that, everybody comes in, everybody's on the list. Well, now we're going to find out who wants to gain that advantage or that edge, but then you guys get to do this with each other and have some fun and try to outdo each other. Yeah. And we just get to be the conduit and the voice the for what it is for what it is that you do and that you want to do. And there are some great bags, uh, a, a lot of really cool uh, designs. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm starting it. to wonder how many, when, when we're going to run out of words to name bag series. Well, what I like about it too is, is, is these companies aren't just bag companies. You know, they, they have, they're selling t-shirts, they're selling hats, they're selling yeah. cornhole boards, yeah. they're selling bags as well. So these guys and girls out there that have started all these businesses well, uh, have a lot of good product to bring to the industry. And you know what? I feel, I feel like in the interest of full transparency, we should let everybody know with all of the stuff that they sell, how much we get out of it. Nothing. Other than the opportunity to come in and, and have access well, we to the ACO family. Partners. We get good partners. They pay some money to us. And then it allows us, you know, maybe we're maybe we were able to uh, bring up some purses here or there or whatever. But the bottom line is they get a chance to come in and show off and show off what they do to you who can then take their product and show off how damn good you are. And we get to be the facilitators of that. And to be honest with you, that's what this is all about. And you can like it or you can hate it, but you can't argue it. So there it is. All right. So on that note, um, uh, you know, OTT came in. I think that's new since last week over the top. Uh, so if you're going to do the work, you know where to go. Um, appreciate you, Clinton, and a handful of others. You guys know. You know how it works around here. Uh, uh, and, and, I, and I hate to just sound, you know, uh, I don't even know what the word is. But I, can, I say this from in here. This guy takes care of everybody on the list. And at the bottom of that list is this guy. So, and, and I know that that's not what has always been said, but I will tell you this because I argue with them all the time. I'm like, God, you really ought to, man, that doesn't mean I'm a dick about it, but I'm like, you could do this. He goes, yeah, but let's do this first. And I've been 
wrong almost every time and he's been right almost every time and you're the beneficiaries of that and the ACO family makes all the difference in the world and that's why I'm here and that's why he's here and that's why you're here and that's why this beer is sounds here. like that <laughs> right here and we're going to put it right in here give you your taco Tuesday back God bless all of you be safe we'll see you in Mesquite if not uh, hear from you before and then we work our way to Branson Missouri for the final major of the year uh, and then also, or the, I'm sorry, the final stadium major of the year and the final major of the year and then the world championships. Heinerman, thank you very much. I'll see you on the brand end of the branding iron. Uh, Gears, he's, uh, well, we'll get to him in a minute. I'm Finn, the loudmouth for the ACO. Maybe I should probably stop drinking. Happy Taco Tuesday, everybody. He's Frank. Here's the corn old dude. Keep on pitching. With whatever bag you want. <laughs>played in the backyard or on the big stage cornhole isn't just a game it's a people we are cornhole and it's proven through history the, the great thing about cornhole is anybody can play it it's a simple game it's a fun social game mm -hmm. it's portable you, get you really get hooked it's on addictive. it and you just want to keep going and going and going and just like any game what anyone can play only a few can be great at the American Cornhole Organization was created to serve as the governing body for the sport of cornhole. Yes, the sport. Cornhole is a sport that is competitive and legitimate. Tournaments nationwide, prize money on the line, the King of Cornhole World Championship, millions of streams online, ESPN coverage with future hopes of becoming an Olympic sport. Yeah, cornhole is legit. We, the people of cornhole, Make this game what it is, and more importantly, what it will be. Always remember, whether you are in the backyard or at an ACO event, be sure you keep on pitching. We are Cornhole, and we are just beginning.